Hey guys, today I'm gonna sh uh, make a program using everything we learned from the previous video so you have a better understanding of how to program using your calculator. So, what, ca what kind of program am I making? I'm gonna make an everyday program where you have one dollar and you wanna buy banana. And each banana, uh, bananas are 10 cents each, and you wanna keep track of the cost of the bananas and your balance and also how many more bananas you could have bought sounds simple right okay let's get started we're gonna uh, create a new program bananas or just banana and then since we have one dollar we're gonna put that in for D four dollars uh, you can put in any variable up but I guess uh, I'm gonna use D and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask the user if they want bananas because sometimes they don't want bananas so we'll be we'll say um wants bananas and there you go and we're going to have two options uh yes or no so first is yes yes whoops Yes. And next is no. Oh, we have to put a label. Let's put zero zero. And next is no. No. And we'll put a label of ninety nine. Um, I'm gonna set the label ninety nine to quit the program. Um, so label. 99 and what it does is it will stop the program or quit it that, that's what it means now I'm gonna set the label of the zero zero so label zero zero and now we're gonna ask the user since they want to buy bananas we're gonna ask them how many they want so we do this by doing input and we're gonna put a question uh, of how many and we want to store the amount that they input into n again you can use any variable um, so let's say they put more more bananas than their budget can afford so we have to take care of it somehow uh, let's say if if the cost which is n times point 0.1 is greater than your budget then we'll say uh, we'll say you uh, not enough and this is not going to fit in one line, so I have to make another dispense. Oops. Money. Oh, shoot. Money. Now, uh, if, if we put this if statement, it will skip uh, this line if this is true or if this is false and and it'll uh, display this but we want to uh, make it so if this is true then it will display everything underneath just more than one um, more than one line so we have to put a then statement right here and what else do I want to do to this well, how about we go to the beginning of the program? We do this by executing the banana again, so it just runs the program over again. And uh, since we're doing recursive, I'm just gonna put a stop in here, just in case uh, something might happen. And um, what else? Oh yeah. Also, if we just dispense, display this, 
and we make it go to this program again we won't have enough time to read it so we have to pause the program and wait for user input to uh, so that the user can read this before they can go on um, and we're gonna close this by the end the end statement for those who know how, already know how to program this would be the open bracket and the end statement would be the close bracket okay what next okay now let's compute how much the budget and the cost and the balance so the new amount would be D minus N times 0.1 that's a new balance and uh, what else do we need well actually that's all we need for now we're gonna clear the home because we're about to display things on the screen and I always clear the home right before I display something I'm gonna display first the amount of money which is D that you have uh, now after you purchase the thing and I'm also going to display the cost. The cost. I'm going to display the cost before, though. Which would be n times 0.1. And if we just display these, uh, the user doesn't know what the hell that means. So we have to put um, we, we have to put words next to it. So I'm going to put I'm going to use output. And I'm going to put it in the first row, for first column. And I'm going to put costs. Costs equals and I'm going to do the same thing with the balance. Oops. Uh, but in the second row, because this is in the first row already. I'm just going to put BAL because I'm sure it won't fit. And whoops, I forgot the enter and the equal sign. What the hell? Okay, second not yeah. Okay, and that's about it for this program so far. So let's see if it works. The program execute banana. Okay, so let's say we don't want to have buy any bananas right now. Okay, so that's that's good. It did what we wanted, and let's say we do want to get bananas, but we get twenty. That's way over our budget. This is not enough money, and it asks us to. Uh, it goes back to the program again. So let's be serious this time and actually buy bananas that we can afford. Let's say we want to buy three bananas. There's our cost. There's our balance. Um, I guess it worked. So what else? I'll, I think I'm gonna put one more thing in it because uh, I have some more time. I'm gonna put a while loop to see how much more bananas we could have bought. So I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna okay. So insert. Um. So first we we're gonna need a variable. I'm gonna use n again. You can use variables over again if you want. Um and let me see while 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 D, which is the, the amount of money we have, is uh greater than or equal to point one and D minus point 0.1 equals D. This is a transaction of uh, a banana and then we're gonna increment N. N plus one equals N. And I'm gonna end this loop and then I'm gonna dispense the uh, the amount of n and that's all the time I have. Bye.